Hey guys, it's Dino. This is episode 9 of the Terraria tutorial series, and today we'll be expanding our hometown. Alright, so if you don't remember in previous episodes, we have collected a few different types of wood to work with. So there's basic wood, there's palm wood, ebon wood, shade wood, and rich mahogany. I think I said that right. Probably said that wrong. I don't know. But yeah, um, shade wood's from the crimson, and ebon wood is from the corruption. There's also spooky wood, dynasty wood, and a few others, but we have not gotten that yet through these episodes, so I'm going to leave those alone for now. Alright, once you uh, get the woods and go to your workbench, there's a few different things you can make. You can make fences, tables, workbenches, um, chairs, and doors. NPCs need tables and chairs. They also need their walls, their lights, and doors too. Another thing that we're going to be using is the walls. So there's palm wood walls, everyone, I mean, just the main four that we've gotten so far. And you don't need to worry too much about calculations or measurements. Um, there is a ruler next to your hotbar in the top left that you can activate. Um, you just need to have your house, I believe, a 9x8 or bigger for it to accept an NPC, if I remember it right. Alright, so uh, the main four we're going to be touching today is mahogany, um, palm wood, shade wood, and ebon wood. I don't think I'm going to... I don't think in this video I touch much of Evan Wood, so that's going to be something you guys mess with. Alright, so now that we've gotten the wood furniture taken care of, now we can do the wood light sources. So all you need is torches and the wood that requires for it, and you can make lanterns, candles, um, lamps, and, and um, the three-headed candle thing. I don't remember the name of, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not that smart. Alright, so now that we got our furniture and light sources from those woods, we're going to have to clear up some space so we can make our next house. So, I'm going to clear out these trees, and then I'm going to flatten the ground. So I'm going to speed this up. So I decided that the shade wood is best for like palisades or walls, not exactly a home. It doesn't look that nice. So I'm going to build up like a wall barrier here. So I'm going to grab the rich mahogany, or the jungle wood, because I think it would be the best look for this house design that I'm going to do here. So uh, I'm going to build a house up, and uh, the thing you want to keep in mind here is don't try to follow exactly what I'm doing here. I'm not trying to do exact build for you guys. Be creative. Do what you want to do. Build what you want. It doesn't have to look as beautiful as my house. It doesn't have to look as crazy insane. Mine's not that crazy insane. I'm pretty much a amateur at building in games. Um, so I'm gonna have like a big open first floor here and then second floor will be a little smaller with a 
maybe like a, a balcony or something for the person to go outside and look. And then has some stairs on the right, or not the right, the left door. Yeah, get a door on this side too. And then, there we go. And then I'm gonna put a little opening at the top. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up video because I do change the top look a few times. Alright, so now we got the base setup of the living room and the creepy attic. Oh, I'm just kidding. Just a basic second floor. No attic. And uh, so, another reminder. Oh, whoops. Put up, put up a table and a chair. Sorry, I was yawning. Put up a table and a chair. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, then uh, let's put this little candle down. Why not? Put on the edge. Maybe it feels off putting, but I think it's alright. And oh, wrong one. Use the walls here, not the blocks. Walls are background, blocks are not. They are yeah. So uh click control. Boom. I don't know what the Xbox players that do. If they can't do that, well that's sad, I'm sorry. So for the roof, I'm gonna get some stone, and uh, in the furnace, you can make gray brick in the stone. So uh, get the stone, go to the furnace, you can make the gray brick there, and well, yeah, that's really it. It's that simple. Building and crafting is really simple. Why is that slime over there? How did he get in? There was a fence. You killed the bunny, dude. That was kind of messed up. Oh, just started his villain arc. All right, so for the roofs here, don't worry about putting in like uh, angles just yet. Just um, I like to having a, I like. Oh my god, can't speak. Oh my god. Uh, so I keep saying that word a lot. I probably should stop saying that word. Um, so the roof here. Uh, I'm making it out of brick. What is that slime doing? He's trying to escape now. He's scared. He's scared. So I tried to put like little one block stairs on the sides. So then you can use the hammer to angle it and have it just nice sloped roof. So fast forward. I made a few last adjustments with windows and palm wood. If you don't know how to make windows, uh, you use sand and go to the kiln which was the um, item I made earlier in previous episodes. Or, no, I don't think I made it. Did I make it or did I find it? I don't remember. Um, but you can make glass over at the kiln and then make some more glass products at the, I think, furnace and workbench. All right, this was Dino, and um, this was um, episode nine of the Terraria tutorial series. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah. Hopefully you get some more NPCs.